Uh, hi. Um, I haven't prepared a dialogue or anything like that. I'm just gonna uh, say what's on my mind, speak from my heart and try to be transparent as much as I can. Um, being a elite athlete is not something I planned on being when I was young. I was never really good in any sport. I was never, I never had the dedication for anything. Um, when I was young, I was always a chubby kid and uh, I, yeah, I mean, I did every sport imaginable um, and lasted like a month or two in it. So being an elite athlete is, yeah, it was foreign to me. Um, but I have, Like that was never supposed to be my story, kind of. Um, it was never meant for me, if that's um, if that makes sense. Um, I I have enjoyed my athletic career tremendously I mean it has taught me so much about myself and I would not be the person that I am today if it wasn't for um, all my years in CrossFit it's been 10 years now since I started and it's just been a journey I could not have imagined and I'm really grateful for all the opportunities I've gotten and yeah just all the opportunities I've made for myself uh, kind of you can't forget that you also it's not just luck it's it's a lot of hard work um, it's shown me that um, if I put my mind to things I can do anything and and yeah I'm just really grateful for all my years and all the people I've met and everything I've uh, like done and uh, mounted to um, that being said uh, Back in 2022, when I made the games, making the games is it's weird because like it's something that I've strived for for so long, so many years. I've watched girls make the games and I've thought, oh, my God, like these girls are badass like these. They're amazing, um, which everyone is of obviously um, like making the games is a huge achievement in the like, especially in now with the level so high. Um, so year after year, I've watched the girls make the games, thought how amazing they were. Um, and then it's weird because when I made the games, I was like, ah. Oh. So apparently anyone can make the games, you know, like I didn't feel, I didn't feel at that time like the you know, excitement, like obviously I felt excitement, but like the amount of you know like hype I felt for other persons like other girls making it I didn't feel for myself um I felt like apparently then it was easy or you know I felt like you know I kind of just like by accident got there or something like that I never really felt like I belonged um there um which is sad now that I think about it, it's sad that I didn't take this moment and enjoyed it to the fullest. Um, and it, yeah, it makes me sad um, that I didn't allow myself to enjoy it more um, because you don't know how things will turn out. Um, during the games in 2022, I was dealing with a lot of uh, personal issues that I'm not ready to share just yet, um, maybe someday, but not yet. But I just want to, you know, make a, paint you a picture a little bit. Um, I was dealing with, uh, yeah, just a lot of stress uh, mentally and physically. Um, things were out of my control. I and things were happening that prevented me for from doing my very best. 
I am all for, um, you know, shutting out the world and just doing your best, uh, you know, like grinding through. But sometimes um, things just don't allow that and you cannot, like, there's no way. Unfortunately for me, that was my reality. Um, and every day I, I think about how it would have been if it wasn't, if, it, if I had just been, you know, 100% there. Um, because I do feel like I could not perform. I could not perform um, and I didn't do good. And that makes me sad as well. Um, that season took a big toll on me mentally. Um, so much that I could not look or, you know, I just didn't want to think about the CrossFit Games. Um, I didn't want to see any pictures. I did not want to, or just like that part of that time in my life, I didn't want at that time, I didn't. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't wait for the competition to be over. I, which is really, really sad, and it saddens me that it it had come to that. Um, and that was my reality of making the CrossFit Games and competing at the CrossFit Games. That I was not able to enjoy it like I should have and deserved to. Um, so yeah, after the CrossFit Games, uh, I was really, I had a tough time. Um, I had to sort a lot of things out in my life. Um, and yeah, I just, I had a really tough time. Um, you could say it even, uh, you know, it's it was just borderline depression, honestly, for uh, weeks. Um, Fortunately, I do have a really good, I did have a really good group, friend, group, group of friends um, and my family and I got through it, but it left a scar on me, like it, uh, it left, it was tough and it left me a little bit broken, if I'm going to be honest. Um, in the 2023 season, I tried my absolute best. Um, navigating these new circumstances for me um and i tried my best like i gave it my all but my head just um i hadn't fully recovered i think from the 2022 season um so the 2023 season did not go well um and yeah, it was just tough. Um, so I gave it my all. I even competed after semifinals. I tried it. Um, and then in June, I... Can you see the cat? And then in um, 20... Yeah, and in June 2023, I decided to give myself a little bit of time to just figure out what I want to do. If being an elite athlete is something that I really like, there's nothing else that um, matters to me. Because ultimately, like in this time of day with a level, like you have to live and breathe CrossFit, which I have done. Um, but I just wasn't sure that that was something I would want to continue. So I gave myself some grace and I um, I gave myself time and space to just do whatever I wanted to do in the gym. Just, you know, have some fun as well, because I don't want to lose the joy of um, moving and working out because um, that really means a lot to me. Um, and I could feel it like slipping away. Um, so, yeah, I gave myself some time. Uh, now, six months later, uh, I have decided that I will be stepping away from competitive CrossFit. I feel like there is so much other stuff in my life that I want to take priority. Um, and I've, I just really, I want to use my time, like I want to use my time and knowledge now to help other people. Um, I really have this passion for you know, just 
getting people to enjoy uh, moving their bodies and working out and um, and yeah I just want to focus my time on other things making this decision was one of the hardest things also in my life because for so long I've lived and breathed CrossFit and I love it so much <laughs> like I loved it and I still love you know, I'm grateful for everything and I will always hold those memories close to my heart, but I just don't think um, I'll be able to dedicate my life to it anymore. Um, but yeah, making this decision has been rough. Um, it's taken a while and you always feel like something is missing, like you're, you feel this sense of emptiness in your life. Uh, I felt it does feel like a little bit meaningless while you're in this transition phase because you don't you don't really have a uh, like a purpose in life uh, anymore. My purpose was always get up and you know work out, go to sleep, eat right, you know do your best in the gym and best do your best to recover and everything. And now it's just a little bit like weird. Um, but I'm enjoying it still. I'm doing workouts that make me feel good, make my body feel good. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to, I just wanted to come here and I always try to be transparent and honest with you guys. And I don't want to neglect um, anything, anyone. Um, and I know you guys have watched me from some of you from the beginning of my career and I'm so grateful for that. So I do want to keep continue to keep like transparency with you and um, and I do also want to start posting a little bit different content and I felt like I needed a reason. you know I felt like you I owed you guys an explanation and not just, you know, a sudden transition um, that didn't make any sense. So, yeah. Um, love you all. And I hope you enjoy or enjoyed this video. Um, it's my first vlog ever. So, yeah, I thought this was the perfect time to actually make a vlog and like use this opportunity to tell you um, the news. So yeah.